Okay, this is my how-to guide on taking care of box turtles. I have two ornate box turtles, and they're both males. You can tell how they're. You can tell that they're males by looking mostly at the belly. If they have an indention on the bottom of their shell, it's kind of hard to tell, but he has an indention right there, and so does this one. He has it right there, and it helps them in mounting. So you can tell. If they're a male, they'll have that, and females do not have that. Females will have a strip right in here that is pushed up a little bit, and that helps fit into the indention on the male for mounting. That's how you tell if they're male or female. And also, if I can get one of them to come out of their shell, uh, the males are usually more colorful. They have a yellow to orange color on their arms and usually on their face. The females can have that, so don't judge just by the coloring on their arms and legs. Uh, but mostly it's the males that have that. Okay, let's get into the feeding habits of the box turtles. I feed mine mostly earthworms, and I do feed the mealworms. A some, you don't want to feed too many mealworms. They have uh, a coating on their skin that makes it hard to digest. If you do feed them that, you might want to break them open so that the, the fluid can get inside the mealworms to digest them. I also feed mine grubs and June bugs. Uh, if you live at a, in town and you can't get some of the things that I can find, then your options would be to go to a pet store and get crickets every week. You could probably buy a dozen crickets and get a potato. They love crickets, they'll eat a potato. You just put them in a little box and you can breed crickets like that. Make sure they have a potato and some water and that's how they'll live. And then I would feed them every one to two days. Um, feed them, let's see, I would say five crickets a day if you're feeding them. That would be a lot for a box turtle two to three crickets would be perfect. Um, I feed mine one to two earthworms usually. They would eat three to four grubs if you're feeding them grubs, but I mostly just find the bugs and then just set them in there. And if they don't find them in the first 20 to 30 minutes, the bugs can crawl out, but they'll usually find them pretty quickly after I put them in. Um, uh, the water, you're going to need a water pan. They like to clean themselves in their water dish. And uh, they also have feces that gets in the water, so you want to clean that about every one to two days, maybe three to four, but it's a pretty hard job having box turtles because you have to clean their water a lot, and they do require feeding and watering every day, and you need to make sure that you recognize your box turtle. You don't have to play with them so much as you just have to kind of get to know it a little bit and it'll make it a little braver so that helps with their personality um, for the watering you're gonna need a paint can or I mean a, a paint roller thing hard to describe it's like a paint it's a roller paint dish you put the paint in there and you stick your roller on that that works perfectly all you have to do dig a little hole, set it down in its hole, push it in by its uh, clamps at the bottom, and it'll stay there. Just pull it out every one, two, maybe three days and clean it. And that'll do for water. Uh, let's see, that'll do for, that's about it for the feeding and watering. Let's go on to shelter. For shelter, they're gonna need some kind of object to get out of the rain, though most of the time they do like the rain. They usually are staying around in the rain, but um, you need some kind of shelter to protect them. And if you live in the country, then you have a lot of options for your housing of your box turtles. If you live in the country, I would use something larger like a stock tank or something like a feed bucket, a large feed bucket. Mm, it would need to be about like that, at least like that, mm, three by five feet, about a four foot radius would be
perfect. And you want to put about mm, two inches of dirt on the bottom, and then you can try to grow grass on the top. That would make it nice. Uh, if you live in the city, you're going to have to get a cage. I would go no smaller than a 20 gallon tank. But if you can put them outside, if you have a backyard that would work, put them in a corner of your yard and build up three two by fours. Put them about that high is how high it would get. And then put it on both sides and put it in the corner. So that way they couldn't get on that side and it would just be a square. That would be plenty big. And of course there'd be grass naturally growing in there and the water dish would fit and everything would be fine. That would be what I would do for my shelter. Um, for the, here he is, I'll give you a look at him. He is not liking being held. I just caught him today and they do bite. It doesn't really hurt that bad though. Um, you can see his arms have that orange tint on them right there, the kind of dots. Okay, for the breeding, they usually breed on their own when it's their season to breed. Uh, they breed in all seasons, but mostly spring and fall. They don't breed in, they don't breed in winter, they hibernate. Uh, for the eggs, just leave the eggs wherever they are, unless you're worried about them. I leave my eggs, and the eggs will hatch, and then they'll just be regular turtles in your tank, and I just let mine go. I don't really sell them because I don't feel comfortable with other people having my turtles because I do not know what how they treat them but if you want to sell them I guess you could uh, let's see that's about it on the how to guide just comment rate and subscribe if you have any questions I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can see ya